All right, so grab your notebook and your pen. This is the perfect partner exercise. This is straight to the point. Exactly how do you uh, get get your own mind clear and yourself clear so that you're ready to create a relationship with your partner. Now, if you already have partner or whatever, it's like no matter what phase in the journey you're at, you can benefit from this because it helps you start to see what's in your mind because what's in your mind is messing with your reality. For example, all right, let's say you're in a in a relationship you're not super happy and your partner does stuff that pisses you off. <laughs> My guess is there are certain things in your mind that are uh, uh, triggering. And so when your partner looks at you a certain way or uses a certain tone or wears a certain type of clothing, that that bothers you. And also, if you're single and you're looking for a partner and it's like you've got your dating pool and you got your you know people you're looking at um, starting a relationship with, it's like your ideas of what makes that relationship good are it's worthy of at least reflecting on for 20 minutes okay so here's the exercise we're gonna do again if you're single or already in a relationship this is really meant for more single people but i you'll you'll get the point so you're gonna grab a piece of paper blank piece of paper in the middle you're gonna write my perfect partner put a circle around it so it's in the center of the page it can be kind of small and then you're gonna write out everything that comes to your mind you don't have to share this with anyone you write it on paper so you don't have to worry about it getting on the cloud and then people know your, your deep, dark fantasies. But I'm serious. You should write down all the stuff that you want. Even the things that you think aren't even like really like practical. <laughs> like maybe, um, I don't know, she's got to have a certain hairstyle. Or if it's a guy like you that he needs to have like a certain muscle group developed or what, whatever your mind is telling you, you got to write this down. You'll, you'll understand, but when the video is over, why I'm explaining it like this. So you write my perfect partner, put in the center, and then you write down all the other associated things. You might have five things. You might have 50 things. Those of you who go all out with this and you really write it out, you're going to get in the relationship faster than the other people. Because it shows, like, there's an intensity to want to have a relationship. Harness that, all right? So you write my perfect partner, and then you write out all the different things. Maybe take, take two rounds of doing this. Now you got that. Now... You go back in and you ask yourself with each specific thing. For example, let's say you're like, my partner has to be blonde. You say, okay, if my partner had everything else but this, as in they were not blonde, is it a deal breaker or would it still be good? And odds are you're going to be like, okay, it doesn't really matter if they're blonde. Cool. Then you can cross that one out. Okay. Or... Another helpful frame is looking at it and saying, okay, if my partner was only this and none of the other things, is it really important? And if it is, of course, like keep it. So basically you're looking for what is the essential stuff about your partner that is a non-negotiable. I will give you some examples for me. For me, it was she needs to baseline be teachable and open-minded. She has to have a baseline desire to grow and improve her life. It doesn't mean she's already a rock star, super, you know, totally, uh, you know, mental peace with herself and emotional stability and all that. I saw that. It's just, is that where she's headed? Does she see the value in that? So that was one for me. Um, another one is that she wants to live in the city where I live, like in the general area and around Minneapolis. Like if she wants to go move across the ocean and live in Spain, you know, it's like, okay, it's just not going to work, but I can still sell her on it. But it's like, that's my perfect partner at least wants to be in this place. One more for me was um, doesn't, doesn't drink alcohol, open to not drinking alcohol. It's like, I've lived that life. I know where that leads. Alcohol suppresses you. It just, I just, I knew, I knew at a base level, she would need to agree to that. Um, and again, maybe she, maybe you're in a situation where your partner's still drinking because she doesn't see the value or the, you know, woman talking about a guy, maybe he doesn't see the value in not drinking. Okay, cool. Now it's just, seeing where things are headed knowing that it's headed in the direction of that so you can have those conversations okay so those are some, some examples for myself what was on my list of like the non-negotiables so now you got your list you said my perfect partner you crossed out everything that was actually irrelevant you know she must look like this she must be shorter than me taller than me she must you know enjoy holding my hand when we walk down the beach together it's like so much you're gonna you're gonna realize a lot of that stuff is really irrelevant <laughs> but some of the stuff is not irrelevant okay so now you got this now when you're clear on this 
this mind that you have will have a lot more space to start to actually see like, okay, well, what the hell could I do now? <laughs> so then after you got this, your perfect partner exercise and you see your non-negotiables, then your next step would just be right at the exact steps you got to do. So you go on, like imagine it's going to take you a hundred dates now to actually figure out who this person is. It might take you three more, but just within yourself, be cool with it being a hundred dates or you got to go meet a hundred women. So then write out for yourself, where do they hang out? And what, and, and what can I say to, to talk with them? You don't have to spend all day going on YouTube videos, searching, how do I talk with a woman? How do I approach a beautiful woman? Like, just be yourself, be genuine. Also, don't be, for you guys, don't be needy. Women don't like that. Uh, for women, if you're going after a guy, he might think that's, like, you might, you might have to do that. And I know many relationships that have been like that, where the woman actually, like, goes and finds the guy and then they they work it out and that's amazing i've seen that work very well so as long as the woman is not too masculine about it a typical masculine guy will not like that he'll see it as controlling and pushy but again there's a lot of nuance to this so anyway perfect partner exercise phase one is get clear within yourself phase two is come up with your plan and then phase three is just execute now if you're looking and you're like well where the hell would i find a good partner um i met jessica my now wife at a meetup locally self-development meetup um, and not like a woo woo, like meditation one, um, though you might be into that and she, your perfect partner might be there more like a, it was like a real estate meetup, but they were also talking about how you can like think and like properly focus on your goals. And that's where I met Jess and it was awesome. Um, but also then right after that, we started the self-perfected group and that's actually where I got to know Jessica because I didn't start dating Jess right away. And we started the self-perfected Facebook group. Now there's 2,200 members in it at the, at the time of this recording. There's a lot of people in there that you could date. Uh, we jokingly say, but it's like, we're serious. It's the ultimate dating pool. We're creating the ultimate dating service. Better than Tinder, better than whatever these other ones are called, is because the common, the common thread amongst everyone in that group is they want to improve their life and they want to improve the world. That's all self-perfect it is at the end of the day. And then there's principles for that. So that's a great way to meet people. And then also like just reach out to me too. I have a whole calendar of events I go to, you know, it's three, four months out into the future. Um, we got a lot of cool things happening on the East Coast. We got uh, an event coming up in Texas. There's a lot of cool things to plug into, uh, but going out and meeting in person tends to work very well. Um, I've heard people have success from, um, I think Hinge is one of them. I, I, you can tell, I, I don't know, but I think Hinge is one. Um, but it, at the end of the day, do you want to just comb through a bunch of people like that? Or do you want to just go to where there are really quality people already? Okay. So that's that. Um, I would also make sure I just thought of this with your perfect partner exercise, you better be really clear. on if you want to have kids, um, it doesn't mean that your partner is going to be totally sold on having kids right away or different timelines, but at a base level, you got to know if you want to have kids. If you don't want to have kids right now, I would ask you why not write out those reasons for yourself too, because when you're in the right community, specifically self-perfected, I'm not referencing any other community except this group. We have a whole lot of families with kids, awesome kids, awesome network. You can have a lot of support and you can raise genius kids beyond anything the world has seen. So there's a lot of cool stuff with that too. And um, when you and your partner have family as well at the heart of what you're doing, man, it for the guys, it really motivates you and the women will be very attracted to that because you're constantly becoming a newer, better version of yourself. And the men, you will see a side of attraction with the women too, because when the women are uh, feminine and nurturing and creating a space for that, um, there's like a baseline attraction there too. So the last thing to keep in mind to jump off all that is right now we live in a world where the polarity is flipped and the men are very uh, like weak and care more about nurturing and their feelings. And the, and the women are more focused on like career success and going and like earning their worth in the world. Um, so as you, especially if you're in self-perfected, you can see a role model of like the man doing what a man does best and a woman doing what the woman does best. And I know there's going to be nuance with each relationship, but when you can see that you, your, your boyfriend or girlfriend, you can see a, a, a trajectory. So it will evolve over time. So who they are right now is going to be a little bit different than who they are in six months, 12 months. And it's going to be a constant refinement and improvement. All right. If you got value from this, uh, 
leave a comment and also share this. All right, see ya.